New developments tonight in the catastrophic bridge collapse in Baltimore. It is now a recovery mission. We are going to suspend the active search and rescue efforts. Officials say the six construction workers who were plunged into the river when the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed are presumed dead. But we're going to do everything in our power to help these families find closure. The container ship lost power and slammed into a support column around 1.30 this morning. The whole bridge just collapsed. The entire key bridge is in the harbor. It is Tuesday night and the big story on Action News is the latest in what has been a dramatic and devastating day in the Baltimore, Maryland area. The deadly collapse of the key bridge and tomorrow dive teams will continue to search for the victims. We have live team coverage on the tragedy tonight. Action News' Becca Hendrickson talks to experts about bridge safety. But let's begin with Annie McCormick, who's live in Sparrows Point, Maryland. And Annie, what's the latest from the scene there at this hour? Yeah, and Rick, those six people that did remain missing are now presumed dead. State police said tonight that weather permitting, they're hoping to get dive teams back in the water tomorrow to help and find and recover their bodies. Our heart goes out to the families. The search and rescue mission for six people unaccounted for after this cargo ship crashed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge is now a recovery effort. We do not believe that we're going to find any of these individuals still alive. The collision involving the 950 foot vessel caused the 1.6 mile long structure to collapse in mere seconds just after 1.30 this morning. Eight members of a construction crew working on the bridge went into the water. Only two were rescued. The NTSB released this drone video today as part of their investigation. First responders describe the difficult conditions dive teams faced. The last thing we want to do is put divers in the water with changing currents, low temperatures, very poor visibility, visibility, and so much metal and other unknown objects in the water. No me siento bien. Jesus Campos works for the same construction company and arrived near the scene this morning hoping for information, telling us in Spanish he is heartbroken upon learning he lost friends. The governor told ABC's David Muir the Mayday call from the vessel's crew reached first responders, thwarting more casualties. Hold all traffic on the key bridge. Uh, there's a ship approaching that just lost their steering. These people are heroes. I mean, there there are people who made it home to their families last night because our first responders responded in the way that they did. In the search, sonar technology detected five vehicles in the water. As for the possibility of more people missing, state police said this tonight. As unfortunate as it may be, it's a distinct possibility. However, we don't have any information to support that. And those dive teams are expected back out here tomorrow at 6 a.m. For now, we're putting live from Sparrows Point, Maryland, Danny McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. Rick. All right, Danny, thank you.